Hey guys, in this next video, we're going to be looking at how to bring an image into CorelDRAW and converting it from RGB to CMYK. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're head into the program here. So now, like in the previous video, we've, or should I say, like in the previous video, we created a new document, made sure it's CMYK, the base, and then we added the um, object properties and object manager. Now, the next thing we want to do is import an image and convert it so we can actually nicely remove the K without it affecting the other pieces. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file on top and then we want to go to import. Now this is important because it's not going to work if we go file open. So we want to go file, import, and then this will give us our actual importing option. Now what I'm going to do is just select the image somewhere where you can see some nice black, import this, and then it will give us this weird cursor. It will change it and it will ask us where we want to import it to. So I'm just going to select the top left corner here. Click that. And then as you can see, if I zoom out here, it has imported the picture for us or the image. So that is pretty straightforward. But now in order for all these settings to work, what we want to do is convert this image to an actual, um, I'm going to say CMYK. So at the moment it is set to RGB and the next mini series I will show you guys the difference between the um, RGB and CMYK with the actual channel mixer. But uh, in order to set this one what we want to do is when with our image selected make sure it's also here on your image object manager that it is selected. You'll see it all highlight in blue and then on the actual display here we'll have these transform gadgets that's how you know the image is actually selected so what we can do is we go to actual bitmap from a top um, drop down menu let me zoom in for you guys so you can see a bit better so we click on bitmap and then we want to go down till we find mode now if we open mode you'll see we have different options here we've got some black and white grayscale view tone we've got um, a palette you can set up more for web use we've got rgb at the moment it's grayed out and that is because the current color um, profile is RGB or the color mode. We've got lab color and then right at the bottom here you can see we've got CMYK color 32. Now I'm going to select that and then it will convert our actual um, image to CMYK. Now we can go to bitmap color mode and then we'll see that one is grayed out so if we can confirm that it is CMYK and then another way you can do is you can go window dockers and then we just add the color, um, what was it, the color, oh, you can't see it yet, never mind. I'll show you that in the next video, but yeah. So that's one way you can confirm that it is actually set to it. Now, before we actually run into how to remove the K in that, um, I would say we first head on to uh, softwaretraining.ca.za. And then over here, you can find a variety of different softwares we do cover. Uh, videos like this one and other ones will be uploaded and then you can also isolate here if you don't want to go through the whole list you can try get exactly what you're looking for but if there's something we don't cover and you would like to see it just go here yeah, request a training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers